Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In the last tutorial I showed you guys how to create um, your muzzle flash using JavaScript and in today's tutorial I'm going to be creating the exact same script well actually reshoot a uh, reshoot script for the C sharp people and let's get started. First thing you want to do is click on your C sharp folder and create a new C sharp script. I'm just going to rename this reshoot and I'm going to put a capital C at the end so I know it's a C sharp script. <clears throat> I double click and open this in my develop. It's going to pause the video to loads. Okay, my script's open and the first thing we want to do is define the variables needed. And because I've created all the variables in the JavaScript, I know what they are, so I'm going to type all of them. This includes the muzzle flash because you should have it attached to your player by now. If you don't, I'll tell you what you need to attach and where you need to attach it after this. So the first one we need is public float, uh, sorry, integer clip. And it's going to hold 80 mags. Public. That's a bit too much space. Public integer bullets per clip. It's going to be 60. Each clip contains 60 bullets. <coughs> Public int bullets left equals zero public float sorry yeah float damage is gonna be 10 now this damage is for the AI damage script and it contains 10 units so every time our raycast will hit the bad guy that contains the apply da AI apply damage script it's going to minus 10 of its health. Um, public audio clip reload sound and public audio clip shoot sound public float range It's going to be equals to a thousand for me. Now the range is going to be used for our raycast to make the line, and it's going to be a thousand units long. Public float. No, sorry, um, particle emitter. And it's going to be called muzzle flash. You want to create another particle emitter, so public particle emitter, and this one's going to be called hit particle. Now, this one's going to be used for our raycast as well. Basically, when the end of our raycast hits anything that contains rigid body or anything that doesn't it's gonna project a spark or some sort of effect that's relevant to the object for example if you have wood it's gonna project the wood um, particle when it hits the wood object and etc and so on uh, what other ones do I need reload damage got these got these 
That's out of the way. That's okay. I need those next. Obviously, public float reload time. This is going to be equals to three point three. Now in C sharp, if you're putting points, you have to put the end. Uh, you have to put an F at the end of them. Public shoot timer. Sorry, public float, shoot timer is going to be equals to zero. Public float, shoot cooler is going to be equals to zero point nine F. Public float muzzle flash cooler and this is going to be equal to zero. Now the reason I need muzzle flash cooler is is to cool the muzzle flash down. Otherwise, it's just it's going to keep on emitting so fast that it's out of sync with the gun, and we don't want that public float muzzle flash timer is equal to zero and I put this the wrong way around I need this to be equal to 0 0.5 F because that's the cooler Public float key cooler. Now I'll explain this at the very end when we get to it. It's going to be equals to one public float key timer is going to be equals to zero. I was going to quickly check if I need any more because there's a lot of variables which I cannot remember. So I'll just minus them off in my head. I need the lights. Done that. Done it. 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 Just two uh, free left. Public game object. Lights, light one, sorry, not lights. Now I'm going to copy this and paste it two more times underneath this. And I'm going to rename them light two and light three. Okay, so we've got all the variables we need. Uh, I'm going to go back into Unity. And I'm going to explain about the particles, how you should have them attached. Because if you did watch the JavaScript tutorial, you would know how to do it. But if you haven't, I'll explain it again quickly. What you need to do, first of all, is because we're making a muzzle flash, you can just use Unity's simple uh, inbuilt particles they have for now. Because later on, I will be making tutorials covering how to make your very own um, particle system I'm not particle system particles but to be fair Unity's particle system ain't that strong compared to other engines it's, it lacks quite a bit I don't really like it it's not much, there's not a lot of things you can do with it and they did say that they're gonna reprogram the whole of the particle system engine and hopefully they come up with something a lot better and yes so what you want to do is, first of all, on your main player, you want to have a muzzle flash particle, which is like this. I'll zoom into it for you. That's just my muzzle flash particle. It's a bit small. It's going to put it up a bit, 